Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, I will mention in this article that I will discuss now, uh, I will mention someone who is a dead man walking, a person who will see a um, character assassination directed towards his uh, position and he him himself as a uh, uh, member of the society. And uh, you're going to see a public... Uh, um, character lynching of this uh, officer. This is the chief of German defense and he uh, did not follow the party line which is Russia is weak, Russia is bad, Russia is evil and uh, maybe not about the evil thing but more like uh, Ru Russia is weak. You know the Russia is you know backwards, Russia's military is a piece of garbage. So let's see how this guy is gonna be. We're gonna hear about this guy soon. This article comes from Reuters and it's from August 31st, 2022. And uh, don't underestimate Russia's military strength, German defense chief warns. Now let me show you this uh, warrior. All right, this is the warrior that made these claims. <laughs> All he needs is brain and heart, not looks. All right, his, I think his, funny looking I think is a, a, a very uh, entertaining person uh, if you get to know him by the face Germany's chief of defense has warned that the West must not underestimate Moscow's military strength saying Russia has the scope to open up a second front should it choose to do so so he's not an idiot thank you very much what's your name general Eberhard Zorn or Zorn or Zorn. Germany's chief of defense. Yes, that's why it is. And I'm quoting the bulk of the Russian land forces may be tied down in Ukraine at the moment, but even so, we should not underestimate the Russian land forces potential to open a second theater of war. End quote. General Eberhard Zorn, the highest ranking soldier of the Bundeswehr told Reuters in an interview. Well, it doesn't matter if you're uh, the highest. I'm going to look for this guy in, a, uh, in about uh, one or two days, check with him back and see if he still got the position of uh, chief, uh, highest ranking of Bundeswehr. Beyond the army, Russia also has a navy and air force at his, its disposal, he, a he added. And I'm quoting, most of the Russian Navy has not yet been deployed in the war on Ukraine. And the Russian Air Force still has significantly significant potential as well, which poses a threat to NATO too, Zorn or Zorn said. Zorn. The Bundeswehr regularly supports NATO air policing missions, policing, policing missions over the Baltic states, which are in trouble right now with fighter jets and having one of the strongest fleet in the region is also keeping a close eyes on the developments in the Baltic Sea at is its doorstep. One potential hotspot there is Kaliningrad, a Russian enclave sandwiched between NATO members Poland and Lithuania that hosts Russia's Baltic naval fleet and is a deployment location for Russian nuclear capable Iskander missiles. Russia has threatened to station nuclear and hypersonic weapons in Kaliningrad should Finland and Sweden join NATO as they are in the process of doing. Russia already deployed over there, I think, three Calibre, or the, no, the uh, Calibre were? No, three hypersonic, I don't think Calibre, Calibre is not hypersonic, three hypersonic missiles, they are uh, capable of carrying nuclear warheads. They were deployed in Kaliningrad. So if they choose to bring, or they are over there, the warheads, nuclear warheads, that's, that means, uh, um, okay, there's three of them, three locations in Europe out. So Zorn, speaking before the start of an Ukrainian offensive in the south, stressed that Russia continued to have substantial uh, reserves. And I'm quoting, as concerned, it concerns its military, Russia is very well capable of expanding the conflict regionally. End quote, the general said, and I'm quoting again. That this, that this would be a very unreasonable thing for Russia to do is a different story. Referring to the military situation in Ukraine, Zorn 
said the dynamic of Russia's attack had slowed down, but Russia was still pressing steadily ahead. And I'm quoting, Sup supported by massive artillery fire, they are driving their advances forward, regardless of civilian Ukrainian casualties, he said. Uh, well, uh, this is a guy who I think uh, uh, knows what he's doing, is saying. It's not that I agree with him. I agree with him without knowing him or anything. Or, But from all the knowledge I have, information I have, and whatever else I have, uh, I uh, uh, that's the conclusion that a normal person should have. I mean, you got what? 160,000 Russian fire fires. Fighters in Ukraine fighting over there. Is that the, 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 the Russian capability you think at a population of 145 million people? Do you think so? So that's ju just by starting with that. I mean, remember, these guys have thousands of uh, uh, warplanes. They have hundreds of, of ships. Uh, they have thousands of nuclear uh, uh, rockets and missiles and whatever else. And do you think this country is just... Uh, um, no, it's unbelievable, but... And uh, he, he also suggested um, Russia was not about to run out of ammunition anytime soon. So that contradicts those uh, UK intelligence uh, reports that they are done and they were been, they've been done since uh, April, according to them. And I'm quoting, the Russians have enormous quantities of ammunition at their disposal, he said. Now, I don't know if this guy says this just to make a point that guys slow down because uh, we're going to be drained m militarily and financially and those guys can go on and on and on before they run off, out of stuff, we do. So maybe it's time to uh, uh, change course. So this ammunition is partly old and very inaccurate, but it is exactly this that causes great destruction to civilian infrastructure. They fire around 40,000 to 60,000 rounds of artillery ammunition per day. Wow, Zorn said he nevertheless did not anticipate any far-reaching offensives deep into Ukraine territory at the moment. He also said Russian forces were currently focused on conquering the Donbas, the industrial region of the eastern Ukraine, where Moscow-backed separatists already hold chunks of territory. No military resolution was in sight yet, however, he said. Oh, right, this is my new hero, Zorn. Uh, I think he's a... Finally, I found a an adult. Thank you very much. Who's not, who's not led by ideology or by wishful thinking or dreams that he had uh, last night and all that. I think this guy is a German, ein Deutsch. I, I'm, uh, I'm glad that this guy is around and he is where he's at and he's saying what he's saying. And these guys, I'm glad that these guys are reporting what he says because this could and this Reuters. This could be just forgotten and pff, nobody said I'm pretty sure there's some other one saying it it's just one that just trickles to us allowed to say because I'm sh I'm certain that other people say other things that we're not allowed to know because uh, you know you're gonna show dissent and people will say oh what what's that eh? oh it's another alternative we have another alternative here uh, so anyway I don't know if this guy says this for the reasons I mentioned or he just uh, makes the assessment because he makes it and believe me if this guy says this now he knew this before uh, February 27th, uh, 24th, 2022. He knew this and he didn't say anything. Anyway, probably he did, but, and sometimes, you know, uh, you're afraid. Remember, it was another, uh, in the defense ministry, another big shot over there, general or something. Oh, it was the Air Force, the commander of the, or the general of the Air Force of, in Germany, uh, Luftwaffe. I don't know if it's called that way, I think, uh, not, not Lufthansa. <laughs> <laughs> and he was called he, he said oh something the same thing about you guys are kidding these guys are gonna uh, smack them down and then he he had to resign for a comment an assessment he made as an officer imagine that you you are in a, a business and you're called in a meeting and they ask you for your assessment what do you think what we should do about this issue here and you say okay i think the co the, the company will benefit if we employ this kind of technique tactic blah 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 blah, blah measures or policy and so on and then the when i say the owner or the ceo or whomever director says you're fired it's unacceptable you ask me for my opinion my assessment i'm an employee i'm part of this i bring this to protect us to give you a assessment of what i think and you fire me 
You should give me a medal because I'm, I'm thinking about things. Another yes, yes, yes. But if they wanted a yes, 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 the politicians kicked out the military guy. And look for that. I, it, I, I, it was about, I don't know, three months ago, I think, when this uh, general of the Luftwaffe, I say Luftwaffe, anyway, <laughs> you know, memories. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. I'm so glad another adult here. <laughs>